Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You know this channel is specialized in VR, but was born as a channel about gaming at 360 degrees. So today we talk about Steam Deck and let's see if and why for me it's a both. Is it possible to use as VR device? Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. Come find me on my Facebook page, Advanced VR Fair. I use the link in the description to buy your favorite games on instant gaming at discounted prices. And using the link, you will also support the channel for free. Thank you. In the last week, everyone is talking about Steam Deck. It is a portable gaming console developed by Valve that would give you the possibility to play everywhere and would also give the possibility to be connected to a monitor or a bigger screen, just like the Nintendo Switch can do, but with a bigger game store. Steam Deck should be released on December 2021 for $399 or 419 euros in Italy, and this is the price for the base model but it exists different configuration and I talk about in a moment. Steam declared that this will be the most powerful uh, gaming console in the world and it's not hard to believe. This device has a 7-inch screen, gyroscope, 16 buttons completely configurable and two trackpads. To push this little beast there is no an XR2 chipset, but a real AMD APU created right for this console and a GPU with a custom version of RDNA2 and it also has 16GB of RAM. So we are talking about a device that without any problems can run the most recent AAA games even those more demanding. Anyway, keep low your expectation because you know there is a whole world between what the developers say about their products and what they actually do. So let's wait for the test on field. About the games, is it possible to run not only Steam Library, but you can also access to Epic Games and Xbox Game Pass, thanks to the compatibility with these launchers, and of course, Steam Deck is also compatible with all the other game launchers that works with Windows. So we could have a game park potentially huge. Price, as I said, is 419 euros for the 64 gigabyte version, 549 euros for the 256 gigabyte version, including the carry case, and, ouch, 679 euros for the 512 gigabyte version with custom carry case. It is also possible to have a deck where you can link your Steam Deck to connect, for example, with a screen or with a monitor. It also has several USB ports, an Ethernet port, an HDMI port, but you have to purchase separately. Anyway, if you love to play anywhere, anytime, Steam Deck is the perfect product for you. It should be, so far, the best and the most performing uh, mobile uh, gaming console and considering the price of the base model it's also competitive with the Nintendo Switch. But now I'm going to reply the question that you're asking since the beginning of this video. Is Steam Deck capable to run VR games? Developers from Valve already said several times Steam Deck was not designed for VR, but they said it could work thanks to all the connectivity available, because it has a Type-C port, a Wi-Fi connection, USB port, and I'm telling this not Valve, maybe it could be linked to a device like the Quest 2. So essentially Valve say we did not design Steam Deck for VR, but it could be capable. There is another problem though, the hardware specification of Steam Deck. Are they sufficient to run VR games? Of course not, overall for the most demanding VR games. And there is also another problem, the resolution. Because how can Steam Deck run the most recent AAA games? Because it run at a lower resolution. So even if it's compatible with VR devices, it will send the image to the headset at a lower resolution. 
So even if it works, the resolution will be not so amazing as you can think. So deal with it, oh you possessor of the Quest 2 without a PC. Guys, without a real VR ready gaming PC, forget about Half-Life Alyx and all the other demanding VR games, because even if Steam Deck will be compatible with VR systems, and it recognized the Quest 2 as a compatible gaming device, it's surely almost impossible that it can run a VR game to an acceptable frame rate. Steam Deck performances, as good as they can be, will never be the same of those from a VR-ready gaming PC. And the most important thing is we need to test it before, so we need to check if it's real compatible with VR systems. I mean, it is not enough you can connect the two devices with a cable, because in Steam Deck you should have, for example, the Oculus client, uh, it will require the right drivers to make it work, so I strongly doubt that Steam Deck can be used as VR device. So stop! looking for an alternative solution to play PC VR games, the only thing you can do is start to save some money to buy a gaming uh, PC VR ready of course, otherwise you can use service like Shadow PC or Plutosphere which is totally disappeared. And guys, if you cannot afford the cost, just remain with your standalone headset and Deal with it! Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. From Benito, see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi.